Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt, and we've got a wonderful body armor test for you all today. You'll have to forgive the change of clothes here. These are my working man clothes. Are you working hard today or hardly working? Anyways, we are doing a joint venture with our friends at CRS Firearms. He has a BA shredder or body armor shredder project that he's working on, and the caliber that he chose was 243 Winchester. The goal of his project was to have the ability to penetrate steel armor at 100 yards using off-the-shelf commercial ammunition. Given what we know about steel body armor and its composition, you need quite a bit of speed to do that. So we have some Fort Scott Munitions 58 and 70 grain solid copper bullets that we're going to shoot out of an 1885 low wall Winchester has a 24 inch barrel. I will confirm the barrel length here in a second and annotate if it's different. Our testing distance will be at 100 yards. If we do not get a penetration at 100, we'll bring the plate back to the NIJ, the NIJ testing distance, which is 45 feet. Since this is a steel level three plate, there is no need to drop test it and it's ready to go. It's approximately 50 to 60 degrees outside, pretty sunny. It was a great day to take a half day of work and come out and do some shooting with my father who will be manning said firearm. We have our AR500 Armor Level 3 flat plate strapped to our clay briefcase. This is a new plate of theirs. It has the frag lock coating. We use a clay backer as a compressible media. So we're trying to mimic the NIJ, at least with something to put the plate on and mimic what you would see real world wise because you're wearing this against your body. My clay is close to the NIJ, but because I don't have a controlled environment, when it gets cool outside, it doesn't get squishy and doesn't represent back face very well. All right, we have our plate strapped to our clay briefcase at approximately 100 yards. We have our Pro Chrono DLX now. It's the Bluetooth one, so I don't have to run so many cables. We're gonna shoot the 58 grain on the left first, then the 70 grain on the right. And like I said, if it doesn't penetrate at 100 yards, we'll move back to the NIJ testing dis distance of 45 feet. Label there, that white label. Did not get a velocity reading. I wonder if the angle of the sun is not cooperating with us. Throw it. Well, folks, I don't think you need me to place any bets in the comments below on whether our 58 grain penetrated or not. You can see a giant hole there. Our 70 grain, he is right over here. That one, we're going to place some bets in the comments below on whether it penetrated or not. As mentioned, again, this is a level three plate, not a three plus. Depending on our results, we may have to get a three plus next. Oh, no pass through on the 70 grain. So our 50 grain or 55 grain solid copper at 100 yards against, I think they're about almost a little under a quarter inch level three plate steel. Can't stop this guy. I wonder if we could step out to 200 yards and see if the velocity is still there at 200 to go through this plate. Since our 58 grain load penetrated at 100 yards, we've moved our briefcase back to 200 and we will attempt the same feat with the same 58 grain. That is a direct hit looking at this camera. All right, folks, here was our 200 yard shot. We are more than two inches away from any of the previous shots. So that is a fair hit. The straps are coming off. Place your bets. Oh, no pass through. So I think you have your answer there. 200 yards, a more realistic engagement from 243. This does open up the question for polyethylene and ceramic composite armor penetration, but at least in our steel at 100 yards and inside, it will destroy steel. All right, folks, since we did not get a velocity reading yesterday during our armor testing because of the angle of the sun, we're on day two. We should have good position of the sun to get some chronograph readings. We'll start with the 70 grain since I have more of those left. We'll fire two shots to get 
a, just a good average and then go to the 58 grain. It's about 50 to 55 degrees outside today. Not bad. All right, let's switch to the 58 grain. Pretty good velocity. I apologize about the wind today, but while we have the opportunity, we have an LA Police Gear Level 4 aluminum plate. We'll be at the testing distance of 45 feet per the NIJ. This is the same plate that we used in the past for the 338 Lapua test, but being that this is a tile array plate, we're gonna try to shoot up here. So we should have a solid piece of ceramic against the 58 grain. And if by chance the 58 grain penetrates, then we'll try the 70 grain. Okay, we've repositioned all of our items of interest here. We are gonna take a shot with the 58 grain against our level four ceramic tile plate. It's alumina at 45 feet. We have the chronograph reading today. If not, we have a good average for these loads. Here was our hit right here, right where we put that nice yellow dot from my father to do his deed. We are far enough away from these other subsequent shots that I will consider that a fair hit. As always, we place our bets in the comments below. As the straps come off. And no pass through. There is a little bit of a dimple there. We've certainly seen larger dimples, especially with our 338 threats but there is just a tiny, teeny mosquito bump there. You can see there's a little bit of a dimple in the clay there. Like I said, the clay is hard because it's colder outside. This was from the steel test the day before. So CRS firearms and subscribers, I think you have your answer. That 243 as it stands at that velocity is no match for the level four plate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this load certainly surprised me. You take a non-military loading, such as 243 Winchester, and you throw these bullets as fast as you can get them, and you get the results that we have. We have tested 243 Winchester in the past against level three plus, I think out of the same gun, but those heavier loadings were just not fast enough to penetrate steel. I do believe at the beginning of this video, I called it 55 grain. It is indeed 58 grain. I tend to stumble a little bit around my dad and get nervous and then I get it all stiff as a board, but now you can tell he's not here because I'm a little more relaxed. Now I don't reload 243 Winchester, so I'm not sure how much Fort Scott is leaving on the table, but I know with some of their other commercial offerings, they do leave a little wiggle room for improvement. I do believe CRS has begun testing some other loads on his channel against steel targets. I think he penetrated a 3 8 thick AR500 little steel target at approximately 25 yards with the 55 grain SIG load. These test results open up some more questions. We were able to penetrate level three pretty much inside of 100 yards with the 58 grain loading. It didn't do anything to our level four ceramic, but there's also a pure polyethylene plate, usually a level three plate that we may need to test this against. And depending on other loads that, you know, if you drop a comment below that you know of another load that's 55 grains, we can always repeat these tests and possibly follow up getting some polyethylene plate or possibly getting some to CRS if he wants to continue testing. As we come to a close, I always like to take a second and thank all those who helped make these videos possible. My Patreon supporters, number one, CRS Firearms and Deep survival for asking us to test these loads. My father for bringing out his Winchester 243 for us to check out and have him do some shooting. And of course, you all for watching. Until next time, everybody, stay safe and I'll catch you at the range.